So we're an NGO and with special consult consultative status with the United Nations. This allows us to raise the voice of our people that's being unheard uh, in the Middle East, to which we are indigenous. So that is Turkey, Syria, uh, Lebanon, as well as Iraq. And yesterday we had an interactive dialogue with the Commission of Inquiry of Syria, and that's where we could um, elaborate on our situation right there. So a lot of Christians, uh, which, uh, of which the voices are not heard, are being raised right here. And same as today, uh, as an indigenous people uh, in general, the same applies. Our rights are not being respected in the Middle East, either being by terrorist groups or uh, by states in general. And this is what we want to raise. And this issue needs to be put to the table so we can implement um, plans that are realistic and will bear fruit. Now, uh, are these, uh, anything that you're doing right here making an impact? Yes, of course, the impact you want to have is like immediately results, but that doesn't happen. It's diplomacy, so it takes a lot of negotiations back and forth and understanding uh, a common ground to which we were, uh, we were working on. And if we get that, we get what we want. But it's, it's a slow process, but fruitful. Okay. What has been accomplished so far since maybe last year? Within the UN, yes. that is a more awareness of our people, not only the Arameans, but the Christian people in the Middle East. Normally you wouldn't hear them in a report or they were, were just a little bit muzzled in the back of a report. But now we see that uh, the efforts we were making here are bearing fruit in the reports we're getting mentioned. So there's more awareness of our situation. Yeah, what we ultimately want for our people is just for their rights to be respected. So either they would be seen as equal citizens to their Muslim neighbors or Arab neighbors, or their minority rights and their indigenous rights should be respected if, the, if we can't be seen as equal.